All right, guys, we're back another video. Today is a new announcement from GM and Hyundai. Hyundai, not Honda, Hyundai. The South Korean car, car manufacturer, um, they're going to collab. Hyundai Motor Company and General Motors announced plans for their first five co-developed cars or vehicles, making a significant milestone in their previously announced collaboration. So there's a few renders on the internet. What it might look like. I'll put that up now. Somebody's going to say it's fake. That's totally real, right? <laughs> totally real. Um, so the two companies will co-develop four vehicles, four vehicles for the Central and South American market, including compact SUV, a car, and a pickup, as well as a mid-size pickup. All the flexibility to use their internal combustion or hybrid propulsion systems, Hyundai and GM also will co-develop electric commercial van for North America. I don't know what you're going to say. This video isn't true. There's no truth to this. Off the GM website. Hyundai and GM expect sales of the co-developed vehicles to be more than 800,000 vehicles a year once production is fully scaled. That's a lot. So are you going to have a GM body with the Hyundai engine or a Hyundai body with the GM engine? In my opinion, this is going to piss almost everybody off. The reliability on those two are, are fairly close. And I'm not talking about vehicles from the 90s. I'm talking about 2025 vehicles. Uh, they both struggle with reliability issues, with the recalls, with all sorts of stuff. I don't know if this is good or bad. Um, you know, it's kind of like um, like Range Rover and and Peugeot getting together or something. It's kind of an odd collaboration. GM will lead the development of the mid-size truck platform, while Hyundai will lead the compact vehicle electric van. The two companies will share common platforms and develop unique interiors and exteriors consistent with their respective brands. All right, so it sounds like it could have either one. Kind of like uh, when Suzuki and and General Motors teamed up back in the early 2000s and made those little trucks look like S10s, but they weren't. Was it a, a Ombre or something? There was a bunch of those quirky vehicles running around back then. I think Geo was also in with somebody else, weren't they? When they had Metro. It's been a while. I don't exactly remember. My hair's all jacked up. There we go. Um, and companies will share common platforms. I just read that. Design and engineering work is underway on the new vehicles for Central and South American markets, which will launch in 2028. Electric, vehicle, electric commercial van will be manufactured in the U.S. as early as 2028. It sounds like a long eternity away, but we're rocketing through 2025 right now. Hyundai's strategic collaboration with GM will help us continue to deliver value and choice our customers across multiple vehicle segments in the markets. Uh, the president and CEO of Hyundai Motor Company says, our combined skill in North America, North America and South America help us more effectively provide customers more what they want. Beautifully designed, high quality, safety focused vehicles with technology and appreciate. That's what it says, probably a typo, but and appreciate. Okay. Um, the GM senior VP, Shilpan Amin, uh, and global chief procurement and supply chain officer said the vehicles announced today are targeted at the largest segments of Central and South American markets as the commercial segment in North America, as well as the commercial segment. So we're going to start off with commercial stuff here. Central and South America is going to get it all. It sounds like in 2028. By partnering with GM and the, by partnering together, GM and Hyundai bring more choice to customers faster at lower cost. I'm not really sure how that's going to happen. I think you're going to get some pretty wonky vehicles the way it sounds. These first uh, co-developed vehicles are clearly demonstrate how GM and Hyundai will leverage our complementary strengths and combined skill. I'm skeptical at this point. Um, 
see if anything else is of any relevance on that page. It looks like not. And then Hyundai and GM also agreed to support collaboration on low carbon emission steel as part of their commitment to sustainable manufacturers. And you gotta change the steel. I'm gonna be the one to break it to you. Chevrolet does not have a good track record with steel. They've never had, and now even the brand new stuff, they got severe frame issues. Have you guys seen that or not? A lot of videos and those on the internet. Uh, this guy under his truck that's not up north, the frame is completely rusted and everything else like the springs, the brake lines are all like brand new still. So I don't know what kind of malfunction with the steel goes, but Chevy's always had frame rust problems. And well, it's, you know, they're the same rusty Chevy. If you go up north and you see a truck that's a couple years old, that's a Chevy, it's all rusted out. We've all seen that. You guys live up north, like, yeah, that's a thing. Um, following the signing of a framework agreement, September of 2024, the companies continue to assess additional joint vehicle development programs for global markets, as well as collaboration opportunities and propulsion systems for hybrid, hydrogen, and fuel cell technology. It sounds like we're getting another Euro situation. And if you go to Europe, Australia, all of the cars look like a Chevy, but they're called something different, or look like a Ford, but they're called something different, and just a little different lights, a little different tail lights, but it's kind of the same vehicle. Whatever Chevy or Ford you see here, there's the equivalent to in Europe or Australia, but it has a different name. Most, most of the time, that is the way. A few things have the same name, but not very damn many. That being said though, Europe, I believe, and Australia both have American motor manufacturer plants there that just make a little different vehicles that are made for there. And most of those have diesel engines. Well, a lot of these have diesel engines, probably of Central and South America, uh, that may very well be. And a lot of those countries end up with a very small four-cylinder diesel engine that may not fly in the States at high interstate speeds that we have. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are not. I have a K car sitting right here, a Nissan Figaro. Um, is that really like a interstate car? Not really. You know, it's gas, but still. Um, it just takes different stuff to drive here sometimes. You know, can your small engine diesel pickup run 90, 95 on the interstate for hours and hours and hours? It might, <laughs> it might blow up. It's hard to say. It's a very interesting write-up on this, though. There's just not much information yet. Obviously, as time goes on and more comes out, we'll touch on this again. But General Motors and Hyundai, it's a it's an odd combination for sure. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow with another special video, something a little bit different. We'll see you all later.